On Jennifer Hoover Street in Tampa, Florida, the cleanup is already happening. They were out there with rakes and, you know, chainsaws. And they were out there with full hearts. Neighbors were helping neighbors. You know, there were posts saying, hey, this is where I live. We're making breakfast. You know, we have a hot shower for you. If you need it, come on over. The former Laurel County resident was lucky. Tampa was originally the intended target for the worst parts of Hurricane Ian. Instead, it headed for Naples and Fort Myers and in unrelenting fashion. Three weeks ago, Max Weinbrenner moved from Lexington to Fort Myers. This is my Florida initiation card right here. So um, I, I'm, I think I was put in this spot um, to help. That spot is at his new job with Hertz Arena. It's now a shelter with no running water. We've been asking people to, to use buckets um, if they really have to go. Now, if we're not keeping people here, they're free to keep, come and go. But for the most part, those that are here don't have anywhere to go. Another former Kentuckian, Jerome Young, sent these pictures. He lost power in a few fence panels, as did some others in his neighborhood. Nothing that can't be replaced. And that loud noise you heard by the bay was a collective sigh of relief. We had a lot of wind. We had a lot of rain. Um, it wasn't as bad as, you know, we thought that it might be. But sadly, in some parts, it was much worse and will be for some time. After the destruction, there's always a uh, recovery. And I think that's that's what I was, was placed here for. Michael Burke, LEX 18 News. Hurricane Ian made landfall as the fifth strongest hurricane on record. President Biden said it could also become our deadliest.